Good morning, everybody. Well, actually, afternoon, because it's after uh, 12, 12 p.m. I am taking American Airlines to Chicago. I haven't been to the United States in three years, pre-COVID times, so it'll be interesting to see what my journey is like today. Thankfully, I have status on uh, American Airlines, courtesy of my British Airways status. I am One World Sapphire. So, let's see what the experience is like here in Toronto. So, the trip through security, wasn't bad um let's see having nexus helps and having carry-on bags helps um but yeah not a pain um to get through so with nexus didn't even have to present my card now just take the picture and their facial recognition whether you like it or not was really quick so got my receipt checked it in asked you know what am i doing where am i going and speed sped on through the border so i am now in the admirals club here my first time at this lounge previously it was a members only lounge um but uh now with one world alliance my sapphire sauce with british airways got me into the lounge and i couldn't be happier wonderful salad bar some great dessert options great soup i had the tomato bisque it was tasty and admittedly i couldn't be happier uh, so far with this trip, so keep up the great work, American Airlines. I know I've had a mixed relationship with you uh, flying. Um, you've always been consistent, but kind of bland, but this has kicked it up for me. I'm just going to say it, American Airlines and airlines in general should not use Verify. That includes British Airways, and it looks like the one word carriers are using it. Sure, I can appreciate that it's a quick way to make sure people's COVID certificates are valid and you know, you're cleared to fly and all that stuff. However, a lot of American Airlines, so American Airlines, United, uh, and I think Delta, use other carriers for you know, um, for sort of the regional carriers, right? So American Eagle, um, so technically I'm flying Piedmont today from uh, here in Toronto to Chicago with American Airlines branding. The problem is Piedmont isn't supported with the Verify app. So if you're uh, trying to go through Verify and, and et cetera, it won't let you, you know, you know, complete the check-in process because Piedmont isn't connected to Verify. What a pain. So, American Airlines, you know, through Twitter, I reached out and said, you know, hey, what do I do? You know, I want to check in, etc. and uh, all that. And, of course, they said, check in at the airport. That's all you can do, which, you know, is all you really can do, right? But... I was really surprised how efficient. Now it also helps that I've got status again with One World, so I now have priority check-in. Um, there was only one other person in line, <coughs> etc. So I got through that pretty quick. Even if I had to take the main line, wasn't that bad. You know, I also am here three hours early at the airport, so um, you know. So I guess checking in, you know with the gate agent, etc., or checking in at the actual main check-in desk, you know, versus online, you know, it's just as efficient, etc. But, you know, I do like to speed through. Oh, and the other thing is, um, American does have the kiosks, the machines where you can actually check in. So, not sure if I could have used that or not, but still, so, I kind of like, you know, it's one of the few times that I do actually like sometimes talking to a human. It is that check-in time, etc. <laughs> Otherwise, I like to be kind of like, don't bug me, etc. Um, so, but uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I've always had mixed experience with staff on US-based regional carriers. In the past, quite honestly, their level of customer service has been shoddy at best, but it really felt like something was different on this flight. Our flight attendant was fantastic and upbeat. From this frequent flyer, thank you. It's much appreciated. <laughs> Finally in Chicago, and don't feel like anything has changed in uh, this particular airport. 
I know uh, already has a lot of expansion and changes uh, coming up, which are going to be very welcome, for sure. So I've been known to pick up what's based on their food choices. And I gotta say, I'm a sucker for Chicago beef dish pizza. Oh yeah. And now after a pizza break, now to see if my old venture card works. So I worked here uh, several years ago. It's been, I'm not sure how long since I've been in Chicago properly. Um, doing some work uh, downtown and uh, we'll take the blue line all the time.